Welcome to another video from MassRevision.net, this time looking at indices. So you're probably already familiar with 3 squared, or 3 to the power of 2, and x cubed, which is x to the power of 3. So for 3 squared, obviously, that would just be another way of representing 3 times by 3, which equals 9. And x cubed would just be x times x times x. Another example like this, y to the power of 6, wouldn't have a name. So it wouldn't have a name like squared or cubed, but it is a separate indice. It's just y to the power of 6 is how we express it. And we also need to remember, if you ever see anything to the power of 1, like y to the 1 as I've just drawn on here, that is simply equals to the uh, original answer, so y. So y to the power of 1 would just simply be y. And uh, first rule of indices to remember is when multiplying, we add the powers. So 4 to the power of 3 times by 4 to the power of 4, we would simply add the 3 and the 4 together, which would give us 7. So the answer to 4 cubed times by 4 to the power of 4 would be 4 to the power of 7. The next rule uh, we will look at here is when dividing indices, we subtract the powers. So in this case, we've got 4 over 6 to the power of 6 divided by 4 to the power of 3. So we would simply take 3 from the 6, which would give us obviously 3. Uh, so it would be 4 to the power of 3, or we could express that as 4 cubed as well. The next example to remember is when raising indices to the power, multiply the indices. So here we have uh, 4 cubed over 3, so we're just simply 2 times 3 equals 6, so you would have 4 over 6. So with algebra it's exactly the same as you would do with a normal number. So where we have x cubed, y cubed and b cubed, you could simply substitute them for any number, so exactly the same rules apply here. But the final rule we're looking at is that you can't simplify if the numbers are different. So 4 to the power of 4 and 8 to the power of 5, we can't simplify as the 4 and 8 are different values. Join us again on MassRevision.net and Revision World TV for more videos. And you may also be interested in a video on standard form which looks at other forms of indices. And remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel.